Hi guys, it's Moni, and I know it's been a couple of days since I've done a video, and the reasoning being, well actually I really don't have a good reason, actually yeah, I do, I was out of town and I went to the hair show in Durham, and um, if you live in the North Carolina area with, between Raleigh, Charlotte, and Greensboro, you may have been there, but if not, it was the, I oh, can't know if you can see it, there it is, New Soul Natural Hair and Beauty Expo. And it was their first year, and it, you know it had a couple of they had a couple of issues and hangups, but I mean all in all it was a pretty good expo. But um, this video is just basically to show you what my haul is, what your girl got, who was there, and all that jazz. So I'm gonna be quick. I'm gonna try to be quick. Um, I got this. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this a little bit. Um, Narika D did do a review on this actual product, Pampered Pits. I actually got to meet the owner. She's a really, really sweet girl. And, um, yeah, and this one is Lavender Dream. This is her deodorant. And I actually have this on now, and it really does hold, you guys. And I do sweat a lot. I have sweaty pits. And that's the consistency. And, um... I did get this on Saturday, and I put it on Saturday night for the first time, and um, I, I try to do it for the whole day, like not to try to put you know, another application the following night, and I actually start to perspire, not a lot, because I'm going to be real with you guys, for me, I can't go the full next night until I take a shower. I'm going to have to apply at night and in the morning, or if I don't apply, I need, I need to put something on in the morning, because I sweat really, really bad. So, But when I did start to perspire, it was about 5 o'clock the next afternoon. So it held me from 10 o'clock Saturday night till 5 o'clock Sunday afternoon until I actually felt a little sweat. It wasn't even really that bad. It was just a little moisture. Um, I didn't even have a stain. It was I just felt it. So, um, yeah, but for me, because I sweat really bad, I'm going to have to put something on in the morning as well. Even if I put it on at night, I still have to put it on in the morning. But, yeah, it really does work. So if you don't sweat that bad, because I normally, what I used to wear is um, clinical um, so secret and degree and those type of the clinical de de deodorants and I'm all even with those those never helped me like I could put that on in the morning and at night and I would still be sweating by 12 o'clock I mean not even on like press bar like leaving them sweat stains and stuff so like I'm the chick that has deodorant in her pocketbook for back for backup because I sweat that bad but um I didn't have that now today like no stains I mean even though I had that dark blue trust me you would have seen it like all up in here you just seen like a shadow of some some type of wetness so but yeah, but I got the Lavender Dream, and this is $9, and then I also got the Almond Joy, Almond Elegance, I'm sorry, and this is 10 So I got both of these, and I'm really satisfied with these. Like, I really, really like them, and I'll probably continue to purchase these, so these are really cool, and this smells amazing. Okay, and everything else I got, um, yeah. Oh, I showed you I got the t-shirt, but this was free. Um... I didn't have to pay for it. Well, I guess you can say I did kind of pay for it because I had a VIP ticket. So this, I got this. But, you know, I'm about to cut this up. Probably cut the, the you know, the neckline out and so it hangs a little cutesy or something like that. I'm not going to rock it like this. But, yeah. And I got some soaps. And these are from this um, place called Butter Therapy. And she sells um, lotion. And she had this really good hair cream, but I just didn't get it. Um... But this is um, four ounces, both of these. And one, this is soy almond butter, and this is oatmeal. As you can see, the oatmeal is in the front. <laughs> and so they're both pretty clean smelling soap, shea butter base, and yeah. And, and these are five dollars. And as always, you know, I'll put the in, in information down below. Um, and then I got something from a chick in Rocky Mount, which I just had to support her because what? Moni's from Rock City, so I had to support Rocky Top. So yeah. And um, this smells amazing. And if it lathers and the scent holds and just whatever, this might be one of my favorite bars. And this is, I think she said it's papaya passion fruit. But she told me that it still had to cure, so I haven't used it yet. So I have to, have to wait like two weeks before I can use this bar. But it smells amazing. Like I have it sitting in my other bedroom and I just walked in to go get it. And the whole room smells like this bar. Like it overpowered the rest of the soaps I have. And I mean, this is some true, true, like, I can't wait to be able to try this. And this is called The Bath Place. And she's in Rocky Mountain. Again, I'll, I'll put all the information below. And then I also got this. And this is the Good Morning Sunshine Soap. 
So, and her packaging is really, really cute. I had to support. She's from Rocky Mount. How can I not? And it smells like a really sweet smelling smell, like a sugary sweet smell. So, yeah. And then, I've actually used this one. It's in my soap dish as we speak. And this is her oatmeal honey bar. And I used this one last night. It lathered really, really well. Um, and as you guys can tell, you know, I'm a nice size chick, so I, I lathered up a lot. So, and it didn't really move. The bar is still, like, good size. And it smells like any other oatmeal honey bar that you, you know, that, like Jurgen's Original Lotion. Like, you know how most of the oatmeal soaps smell. Like, they have that, that, that oatmeal -y smell. I don't know what to call it. But, yeah. And my skin was really soft afterwards. I had no issues. I mean, that's why I'm really buying all you guys. Well, Moni, why are you buying all these soaps? I love them, one, because they make my skin super duper moisturized. I'm not dry coming out of the shower. I don't itch. I don't, I mean, my skin is a lot smoother and softer. And I've noticed that. So I'm just sticking with them. And I've just gone bananas buying all these soaps. But anyway, so this, these three are from the bath place. And then I got something from Brown Sugar Naturals. Um, well, soap. You know it's soap. <laughs> and this one is the Zuri soap. As you can see, I haven't tried this one yet. But it smells really, really good. And that's what their bars look like. And is this a clean smell? I don't know. It's like a soft. I don't know. If y'all just heard that, my husband and my brother are downstairs playing Xbox. And I apologize. They have, and my daddy would say, ain't got no cooth. Ugh. <laughs> so I'll make this really, really quick. And this other one I got was Cool Basil Soap. This is my favorite from them. It smells amazing. Like they were sold out of the, they had a body cream with this and they were sold out. So, yeah. And these were all five dollars. Every soap I have was five dollars. And but you know, of course, these were like three, four, ten. So yeah. Well, no, these were three dollars a piece. Yeah, no, or four dollars. No, these were four dollars a piece, and I got three for ten. That's what it was. And then um, these were five dollars, and then this one was three dollars because it was unwrapped. But their prices are really reasonable. And this is a lemongrass soap. As you can see, the lemongrass peeping out the side right here. Oops. Yeah. And it's really, really lemony. So, I got that. And then lastly, your girl went and got some stuff from Cream and Cocoa. Why? When I have two, count them, two pending orders from Cream and Cocoa. Don't judge me. So, yeah. I got her, her pear tartlet so. And I got these because I know these are her sample sizes that are out right now. I'm trying to be really, really quick. I got this one. This is her blueberry cheesecake. This is the orange chiffon. This one smells amazeball. So whoever got, if you guys got this, you're going to love it. And this is her vanilla bean rum or vanilla rum something. So it smells like vanilla ice cream to me. But yeah. So I spoke with her yesterday and I told her, I said, all her soap, her sample soap smells so good. She might want to put them in the regular rotation and she's really considering doing that. So, um, yeah. So that's my haul from this weekend. So many soaps, too little time. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to pick every night to go take a bath, but hey, it is what it is. So until next time, um, hopefully tomorrow I'm going to do my science project. I know I've been talking about it since like last week, but I'm going to get to it, you guys. And thanks for watching. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back in the next couple of days. Hopefully I'll get my creamy cocoa box and um, we can talk about that. But anyway, I'll come back with reviews on these soaps. Talk to you guys later. Bye.